what is good what is good all my real ones welcome back to it gets real it's your boy be the flossy fisherman and yes we are back in casa de flossy back in b's bust down kitchen i just got something in the mail and i wanted to do a taste test so i decided to bring y'all right along my good friend from the central coast papa leroy came out with his own seasoning chili lime blackening seasoning so i have a little bit of striper a little bit of halibut and we're gonna give this a taste test right now we're gonna see if it's fuego or say no but knowing papa leroy and hook to cook and all my boys down there they wouldn't lie to y'all man we did this a little Mm. I can smell the wine. Yeah. Mm hmm. Like anything. I go that halibut. The striped bass. Yes, sir. I'm about to get my 40 Fonzarelli on, man, and give it some sprinkle. Sprinkle. I get that lime kick. I could just really smell the citrus from the lime. It's real potent. A little olive oil at the bottom. We're gonna give it a generous amount too. It's black in the season, so trying to have this fish look blackened. Here it is, here it is. Usually I'll be trying to fry some of this up, man, but your boy has been on the healthy tip, man. I've been I haven't fried no fish and almost a year i've been baking everything um i'll just cut us the grease everything fish fry i feel like that's gonna be a, a once in a blue long type of thing for me now um just trying to stay on the healthy side man there ain't nothing wrong with baking it the oven is already preheated 400 degrees like juvenile and we gonna slap this on in the oven for about 15 minutes. Ready to go, it's ready to go. Ready to go not right now. And on in there like so. Really excited to try this. But we can talk about what's in the ingredients here on the back, man. It says it's non-GMO non-MSG and non-gluten gluten free sounds healthy to me man sounds like I got the right one that's the right seasoning to use um, but it has vinegar powder sriracha powder paprika garlic maltodextrin spices citric acid silicon dioxide added for anti-caking that citric acid, man, is potent. It's about the main thing besides the chili that I could smell in here, but you now they say it's great for the pan. Got some chicken fish on there, so use it on your chicken too. I'm excited, man. We got 15 minutes to go. Let me give this a shot. All right, y'all, it is time. It is time. Oh. That is looking fine. Oh my gosh. Man, would you look at that Hallie. Oh man, Papa Leroy. You might have something, man. You might have something here. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. My gosh. About to go down, y'all. It's about to go down. And I got it on my plate, and I can't wait. What's some fish, man, with a little bit of greens? You know, I got to get my salad in with it, you know what I mean? But this is the halibut right here. Then this is the striper right here, man. So, hey, we going to get to it. So, we going to have some of this halibut first. Okay. That line, 
is still standing strong. My gosh. Still waiting for the chili kick. A little bit of spices, man, but y'all know me, man. Y'all been watching me for some time. I love spicy. Just waiting for a little bit of that, that heat to complement the sweet of the lime. It's there a little bit. It's there a little bit. A little bit of salad to cleanse the palate. Now we have some of the striped bass. Let's we'll see how that took to the seasoning. Man, what? For real, for real? Well, that's kind of crazy. The striped bass actually took a little bit more to the chili than the halibut did. I got more of a chili kick on the striped bass. Kind of why I wanted to do two different fish too. Um, so like I said, man, when it comes to seasonings, uh, different fish adhere, you know, differently, man, to the seasoning. So probably going to be the first time I say I like the striper over the halibut, mainly because um said it does have that that chili kick to it. Just bow, socks you right in the taste buds. The lime is really giving that old school. Uh, what was it, man? The, the little Lucas the lucas powder you know when we was kids we had that little a little duck on there man a little mexican candy uh with the lucas or it tastes kind of like the little packs the little limon packs it looked like a little seven up thing man the little packets that was the same color as a seven up can limon they still might have it in stores today man but that that's what this tastes like which there was you know just a tad bit more kick been sweet that's that's just me i know everybody ain't crazy about spicy like me um but overall it's pretty far once that sweet fades away you do get that heat you do get that heat i'm on the aftertaste on the afterburner good product though I like it, I like it, I like it. You know? Just y'all give it a try, man, if you really like the line, man. If line is your jam, then this, this might be it for you. See, I got this last piece of that striped bass. And let me tell you, that chili kicked in. I'm sitting here chilling, right? I'm like, damn. Man, that spice is dancing on my tongue. It's an afterburner. It's an afterburner. But after a while, I'm sitting up here licking my lips. And my water, what? I taste spicy. My lips are spicy. Everything's spicy. That's what I was looking for. So, yes, it is Fuego. It is Fuego. <laughs>